everyone! Welcome back to our channel, Travel Range. We hope you're doing great. Did you know you may move to Canada in 10 days? Yes, indeed. You read that correctly. So if you're a worker wishing to move to Canada and believe the processing time is too long, you might want to try this route. This is one-of-a-kind approach and the work visa can be obtained in as little as 10 days. Furthermore, there are no English language requirements on this path, and you can move with your family and file for PR after just one year. Furthermore, there is no application fee. As a result, if you are interested in moving to Canada as a worker, we will tell you the details of this pathway, which will include who is qualified to apply? How do you apply? Most importantly, how to avoid scams, as well as other important information that will help you along the process in this episode. So, to obtain the entire information, pay attention and watch the video all the way to the ending. And please like, subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for future episodes. So without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Employers in Canada are currently having difficulty filling jobs in specialized occupations. As a result, they are looking to hire international professionals via the global talent stream. Employers in Canada can obtain work permits for international workers in as little as two weeks via this technique. So what exactly is a global talent stream? This GTS is a stream that allows Canadian businesses to quickly hire foreign workers to undertake specialized skills when Canadians or permanent residents are unavailable. The global talent stream is Canada's response to an economy in need of highly trained employees. This GTS program is the quickest way for qualified employees seeking a new life in Canada to immigrate because Canada hopes to process work permit applications submitted under the program in as little as two weeks. The Temporary Foreign Workers Program, a group of work permit streams that invites foreigners to Canada on temporary work permits to fill specific labor requirements, processes applications in the Global Talent Streams. The GTS is a division of the TFWP that recruits highly qualified individuals for specialized positions with emphasis on people with experience in engineering and tech-related sectors. The number of available opportunities in Canada is at its highest in decades. As a result, the country is doing all possible to fill the numerous available positions. As a result, the GTS is one of several methods in which Canada welcomes international employees. Because of the GTS, Canadian firms may quickly fill job gaps, which is great news for international individuals who want to start working in Canada right away. So now, how do you apply for the GTS? If you are a foreign worker, you must assess your skills and determine whether you are qualified for this path. You should be aware that you cannot apply to the GTS right away. Only Canadian businesses can apply for the GTS, which permits them to be designated and get labor market impact research, allowing them to hire workers from other countries. As a result, the first step is to establish whether you match the standards for highly trained workers in categories A and B. Category A is the authorized partner recommendation for this category. Employers in Canada must look for distinctive and specialized local talent, and they must have been suggested by a GTS recognized partner organization. Moving on to qualification as a special and one of a kind talent. Foreign employees must have advanced knowledge of the area, which can be demonstrated by a postgraduate degree in a specialist subject or at least five years of experience in a specialized function. They must also be earning at least 80,000 Canadian dollars each year. If a better wage is not available for the role, 
the Canadian employer must engage with one of the approved partners to find a designated referral partner. After they have found the overseas applicants, they must certify for them. This GTS stream has a list of partners who have been chosen. The chosen referral partner will evaluate the company to see if it places a high emphasis on innovation and has opportunity for development. If so, Group B, also known as in-demand employment, will be created, which is the one we believe most people take advantage of. For this Group A, Canadian businesses may hire a highly qualified foreign worker in a job on the global talent list. Employees must be compensated at least as much as a prevailing market price for the job position. A list of global talent professions is currently available. So let us go through some of the occupations that are on the list. Now as you can see on the screen, we can see that there are managers of computer and information systems, computer engineers, mathematicians, analysts, and consultants of information systems, data analysts and data administrators, software engineers, designers, computer programmers, and creators of interactive media, web designers, and developers network technicians, etc. Now that you've confirmed your eligibility for the stream, the next step is to get a job offer and find work. As a result, you must obtain one from a Canadian employer who is eligible for the GTS under categories A and B. To apply for employment online, you must discover a position. You may search for employment on LinkedIn, Indeed, Canada Job Bank, and other Canadian job sites. Once you discover a position, you can apply there. Step 3 of the process is making the application. To apply for a work visa in Canada, you must first fill out a work permit application and attach your employment offer letter as well as a copy of the LMIA that your firm provided to you. You will also need a police clearance certificate and a medical examination to apply for your visa. As a result, once you've submitted all of your papers, your work visa application will be processed and you'll be able to work in Canada within 10 business days. Let's see if you're eligible to bring your family. Yes, you may immigrate to Canada with your dependents, such as your husband and children, who will definitely accompany you. The employer is responsible for paying the processing fee of 1,000 Canadian dollars for this GTS work permit. The applicant is not responsible for the processing fee because it is covered by the employer. That's all for this episode today. What are your thoughts on the Global Talent Stream? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for taking the time to watch the entire video. Hopefully, you will find the information useful. See you in the next episode, and until then, take care.